Seed for all birds, all flightless birds receive an equal portion of seed. <coughs> Are you guys ready for a super specific edge on a super specific knife on a pretty specific steel doing a very specific kind of test? Why has this channel not got millions of views, millions of subscribers? Uh, we are looking today at V to the 4, 4V. Four and this is again a dual grit sharpened edge. And again, focusing more on having some more like burr lead cutting. So really, no, not burr lead cutting. Well, I'm guessing, yeah, it, is, it sort of is. It's where it's, it's a little bit more, um, yeah, it's, it's less of a stable apex. It's kind of, you know, get that really little tiny knife edge going. It's kind of the, um, the, the theory behind it anyway, it's sort of how it ends up having like a real like razor burr doing it. And I know most edges, are, you know, the burr is doing the cutting, but uh, these seem to be specifically a little bit more so, rather than just having like a nice little crisp triangle, you've got a you know, crisp triangle and then like a little thin knifey bit going, doing all the cutting. Science. <laughs> uh, so interestingly, we had Maximet with this, um, this or a similar edge to this, um, sharpened by Gabe over in New Zealand. And yeah, the edge sort of, it couldn't quite take it with the Maximet. The Maximet, and my theory was, Maximet's kind of a bit of a glassy, you know, really hard um, steel. It's probably a bit more prone to sort of tearing out or, or having like a, a more fragile but vicious burr perhaps bend off. And I'm, I'm gonna theorize that it probably happens on the board rather than on the uh, on the rope. But, you know, I got no real way of testing that. Apart from as someone once suggested, me doing free hanging rope cuts. I mean, I don't even know how you would do that. Anyway, this is what I do, it's what I do. You wanna do something different, you do that. Um, right, so this is a mule, a Spyderco mule in 4V. <laughs> and, and how cool is that handle? I mean, honestly, that is a cool looking handle. It looks like coral from under the sea, but I think it's resin from, um, in, in the middle of the earth, but you know, whatever. Um, some kind of um, plastic resin or glue based resin. Um, but oh, lovely looking knife, quite comfortable as well. Good thing about the Mule series, if you get a pair of comfy scales, as I guess they're intended to be, they are great testing knives. So what we've got, you've got a much more polished edge on one side with sort of a longer, a taller apex. And then you've got a shorter, Apex. You've got a shorter edge, yeah, I guess it is an apex, shorter edge apex on the other side that's kind of more of a, a rough finish. And, and both of these are stropped, of course, once they are sharpened, but the, the grittiness is on this side and the smoothness is on this side. So um, that's kind of what we're looking at. Uh, I'll link a video below about how Gabe sharpens these knives. And it's all just about trying new things and maybe getting that dream combination of edge and just seeing how different edges react. Dual grit sharpening previously, before the last test, has really extended edge life uh, in more kind of traditional steels, more 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 standard, less finicky steels than Maximet. I get a, I get so many questions about sharpening Maximet, so it must cause a few of you a few issues. Um, usually the answer is just persistence, but um, sometimes it is a bit sensitive to like a couple of bung strokes, and and it does seem to to throw you a few steps back. So this is a four V is it's a pre a part, if this was stainless steel, this would be one of the ideal steels but because it's not stainless it's usually relegated to kind of either coated knives or fixed blades in general but anyway 4v is great steel one of the best ones i think even still and um we're gonna see how long it cuts i feel like i talk for too long at the start of these films anyway so we've got a very nice sharp edge i mean these come so sharp these dual grid edges they're just like so sharp so we're gonna be cutting with that same portion of the blade over and over again into twisted sisal rope until it no longer does that to paper. The amount of cuts it's done before it no longer does that to paper, before it starts hanging up, that's the number I assign it, and that's the test. So let's get cutting. Mm -hmm.
I just looked up and I was like, fuck, the, I swore really loudly and my kid's inside doing homeschool, so I'm sure all of his class heard. Um, so I looked up and my phone has it had gone to, oh, you've run out of space, fuck you, stop filming. So uh, I've, I kept cutting up to 400 and then I checked, I looked up and there wasn't filming, so I'll have to go back and see when it stopped. It probably stopped at one cut or something. So anyway, I know I hate doing this, but because I didn't sharpen this edge, I have to sort of submit this as the video. Um, but it's still going fine at 400, and I've cleared the rest of my deleted items on my phone. Fuck's sake, so annoying. But uh, it's still cutting just fine at 400. Um, it's got like a slight slowdown point on it, and when I look at it, I can sort of see it, and it is that same thing that's happening again, where the edge is sort of, it's more of like a, the, the burrs um, torn off in tiny little parts. So, but it's still cutting for all intents and purposes of the test. It's still doing a paper slice at 400. It's just got a tactile little stop in it. Like a little like about there, I can feel it go. Ugh. So yeah, we're at 400. You just have to trust me. Uh, you know what, if I had sharpened this up myself, I would just redo the test, resharpen it, but not my edge. So 400 and it's doing fine. Just a minor little blurb on there, but not enough to stop the test. So let's keep cutting them. We're at 500, interestingly, this is where the Maximet stopped last time. You can see, it's got a bit of a... But it still makes the cut. It's obviously a small enough... Oh, oh. Yeah, it's a small enough bump that you wouldn't say the blade's no longer reliably slicing, but you can definitely feel there is a problem developing, sort of. But 500 cuts is an excellent result for 4V anyway, so let's see how much further it goes. Yeah, I'll call it a 600 and I'll show you what it looks like. Check this out. You can see it really well because the edge is so shiny. All right, so what we're looking at is, uh, it's the best background. Yeah, oh. Can you sort of see those little, those two little, oh, the rest of the edge is still super duper sharp. Just above my finger, those two little notches there, just little notched out bits of edge. Just above my grossly tuned fingernail. Gotta stop doing that. What am I, 10? Anyway, um, that's sort of the way that these edges degrade. And I just noticed it's more of a, um, I would sort of comment that it's a more of a, uh, a sudden, or more of a drastic way for an edge to sort of end its life rather than, um, you know, gradual dulling, which is sort of what happens in my other kinds of tests. So it's kind of a bit of a glass, you know, the analogy of a glass cannon, like it does really, really well uh, until a certain point, and then it kind of just stops pretty suddenly. That being said, the 4V steel has outcut Maximet with this kind of edge. So obviously a slightly softer steel, even just slightly softer, this isn't going to be you know, 58 or anything. This is probably still up in the 60s. Um, but a steel that's more geared towards sort of being robust rather than just being you know, really long lasting on the edge um, is going to hold these kind of more wacky or more sort of um, experimental or, or wire led edges a little bit better than say something like Maximet or, or a steel of that caliber. So there you go. What do you reckon? Um, 
interesting way to sharpen. I am not sure if I would have this as my default. The dual grit, the usual type of dual grit sharpening. So this is even more of a refinement of that. If you step back to just having, you know, um, 17, 17 either side, and then just one, one polished and one uh, rough, and then just maybe hone it, uh, polish it a bit more so that wi the wire lead burr is gone and it's just more of a, of a more traditional V apex with a tiny little wire doing the cutting. I think that might be the more reliable way of, of of having an edge, but still very cool. Very cool indeed. All right, my friends, there we go. So that is the, um, you know, the sort of more specific kind of dual grit sharpened edge. And I would comfortably step back to those first couple of times where we did it, those first two types of it. I think this is, this may be like almost too, um, too high risk, high reward um, in terms of you, you might get it just a you might get a carbide tear out a little easier or you might get a you know a burr failure or you know something like that um but those first couple we did you know where it definitely boosted the uh, edge retention with very little um you know issues in any other field those are the, still probably the edges in my mind that are probably the best ones i've had so far um so yeah edge lord adventures that's right being the right kind of edge lord in a knife community that's being the guy who's interested in different kinds of edges rather than, you know, spreading negativity in every possible way. Um, so there we go. Edgelords, the good kind. Let's, let's be that. And I'll uh, see you all in the next video. Goodbye.